Hey Parkview, it's Thursday, March 16th. Let's focus in on becoming more. Our devotion today comes from Philippians chapter 3, verses 1 through 3. Whatever happens, my dear brothers and sisters, rejoice in the Lord. I never get tired of telling you these things, and I do it to safeguard your faith. Watch out for those dogs, those people who do evil, those mutilators who say you must be circumcised to be saved. For we who worship by the Spirit of God are the ones who are truly circumcised. We rely on what Christ Jesus has done for us. We put no confidence in human effort. Belief in Christ brought with it a new circumcision, a circumcision of the heart. This type of transformation wasn't really a new thing, though. God has always wanted more from his people than just external conformity to a set of rules. He has always wanted us to possess a heart that longs to love, know, and follow Him. Even in the Old Testament, God called for a spiritual circumcision of the heart. Deuteronomy 36 says, And the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your offspring, so that you will love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, that you may live.